Hello, and welcome to Lone Wolf 5150 Redstone Tutorials. Today I will be bringing you an automated security system that uh, I think is actually one of the best ones because um, it is fully automated um, and it's kind of like a build and forget. Plus you can use this uh, build because right, I'm just building the meat and guts and you can engineer to add different things. Um, in my world I have a setup for like a, a kill hallway um, to protect uh, diamonds and gems and armor or whatever, whatever you want to protect gets uh, from people. Um, you can use this for perimeter security um, around your camps or whatever, um, and it's fully automated. Um, you don't have to stand there and flip a lever or anything like that. And also, it's also probably the fastest that um, I've seen. So. Um, Let's get started. What you will need is um, just a building blocks or blocks of choice, um, redstone dust, redstone repeaters, sticky pistons, uh, redstone torches, dispensers, one comparator, and pressure plates. So uh, let's get started. Just pick the place where you want to have your um, your dispensers, I'm going to go two wide, three high. So I'm just going to place one uh, there and then I'm going to move over one. And then you're going to count back three. So one, two, three. Go two down. There's a sticky piston and a block. And then what you want to do here is go down two, go down two, and uh, then from here, right here, go down to uh, two again, and um, I'm just gonna go back about eight to twelve because I think that's where how far arrows can travel. So then just go down two. That's gonna bug me. Um, and then two over here too also. I'll just fill this in real quick. Alright, so now what you want to do is take out your repeater. Put a repeater here. And redstone dust. Let's some dust, and then uh, should be enough, and then just redstone dust all the way down, like so. Now, um, place a block. Let me put this one real quick. Place block here. Come over here and block. Block. Um. I'm going to break these so it's easier for you to see. Um, and then we're going to can actually fill all this back in over here. Like so. And then uh, let's throw our dispensers in. So another one. And then uh, we'll do this. Because you will have to go into sneak mode. Dispenser, 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 dispenser. Break that block. Okay. Now come back over here and we're going to throw two or more repeaters on one tick. Redstone dust, redstone dust. And uh, I'm just going to go and break as I, as I go so you can see. Um, but this is all flush level. Um, Throw a repeater here. Um, what I'm going to do here is just, and then you're going to throw redstone dust, redstone dust. And what you want to do here is break, throw a comparator, and then a uh, redstone torch. And you want dust. You want to break this one here. Redstone torch here against this back wall here, and then you want to throw a 
lock on top. Redstone dust. And what happens is it'll start pulsing and then it'll fizzle out. Now, you want to throw another torch right here. And as you can see, it is going. Um, let's come back here and uh, throw, go back into sneak mode. I forgot to do that real quick. Right there. And then uh, throw redstone dust on top here. Now, let's throw in our pressure plates. Just fill it all in. Alright. And uh, we are done. So, as you can see here, what happens is the pressure plates are connected to this piston, which when you step on the pressure plate, it sends a signal to this piston, which then lifts up and brings the signal from this repeater to here, which then activates the dispensers. Um, so you leave it like this, or if you really wanted to, you could um, actually uh, hide it by throwing sticky pistons here and sticky pistons here. Blocks of choice here. Blocks of choice there. And then uh, in which you want to throw is going to be mirrored on the other side too. Torch block redstone. Same with the other side here. Torch block redstone. And then obviously you have to connect it, so you want to break, break, break. Um break, break, and uh, I don't know if that's done there, um, throw redstone right there, like so, same with the other side, uh, break, 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 so it's like a backwards L shape, and redstone. Uh, dust. Now, if we go and step on it, as you can see here, it pops open so it can be hidden, goes off. Now let's uh, check it out and uh, so you can see how quick it is. <clears throat> Let me just get a couple of stacks of arrows here. Four, six, seven. Just come over here and so arrows up here. Same with the other side. Should be good to go. Now, so you're just walking along, and there you go. Um, I mean, look at look at all these arrows, all these arrows. Just how it is truly devastating. Um. Now I'll show you what I've used in um, my world. If you come over to this one here. Uh, this is the exact same one I have in my world. Um, right now uh, it is off as the indicator light shows. So it's like a regular hallway. Easy 
done. But if I, uh, I actually have my button hidden, I uh, hit the button, uh, there's nowhere to go. You cannot get out, uh, even if you come over here, until that person or player dies. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, then uh, please punch that like button and uh, subscribe for more tutorials. I will have more coming very soon. Um, yeah, so, in fact, I don't know. Oh, I do. I uh, next episode, I will be bringing you a Castle Gate, Pokolos Gate, with a solid door behind it. And so it's kind of like little castles where they have the gate and then uh, the door to close behind. So, um, until next time, uh, again, smash that uh, like button and subscribe, and I will catch you later. Thank you and have a good day.